All right, Shalom. I want to say call hello, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay, uh, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay, I want to give up double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, I want to title this lesson. When you first come into the truth, you have a lot of demons on you. Okay? You have to uh, fight Satan. Okay? And um, it's, a, it's a battle. Because, for one, when you first come into the truth, you know, many, many times brothers are already facing um, different type of circumstances when they come in, you know, and it's like you're not coming in uh, to something that um, you're used to. So when you're when you're when you're coming in to the truth. The ways of this world and how the world gets down compared to how the scripture says that a man is supposed to be spiritually, it conflicts, you know. Uh, I'm going to start off with the scripture, Luke 9 and 23. And he said to them all, if any man come after me, okay, so when you first come into the truth, you find out the Lord's name. The Most High's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. Okay? Uh, you find out the truth. Okay? Now, that is a major, major, major starting point for a person that's first coming into the truth. You have the Lord's name. You found out that you're an Israelite. You know, you found out that the truth that, you know, the prophecies, the Lord is going to come back, you know, destroy America, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, but that's not even taken into the consideration that when you first come into the truth, you still have the world on you. Okay, and the, the, the world has this vibration that Satan just put on it. Okay, and um, it's like when you first come into the truth, you know that you have to study, you know, you have to... Uh, get right and do the right thing, you know, but your knowledge isn't there to the point of actually being able to know how to handle uh, the demons that are on you when you first come into the truth, okay? So the scripture says, if any man will come after me, if you want to come into the truth and you want to, you, you found out that, that this is the truth, okay, now all of it, you want to follow the Lord, you want to follow your help by Shem Yahweh right? It says, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. So this is something that you're going to always have to do daily when you come into this truth. Okay, it's a fight. It's a spiritual battle. Okay, you come into the truth. Now, uh, Satan is telling you, don't watch the videos. You know? Or, or you come into the truth and you got the, the mindset of, fuck it, just call off work. You know, don't go to work. You know, and you got to you gotta understand and you got to you gotta think forwardly that if you if you don't watch the videos, then you're not going to get you're not going to get anywhere. If you call off from work and you, you have to, to pay bills. How far is that going to get you? Okay? You even got some woman that will sit up there and say, Are you watching them videos again? You got to be it. You got to learn what to do and what not to do. It says, And take up his cross daily and follow me. Okay? Another way of, of, of fighting the demons is you could have been a certain man that was in the world. You know, let's say you was a. Uh, uh, um, a, a, a music artist or something like that. What you have to do is you got to learn how to to fight that demon and do as Yahweh Shemayah say. And 
one of the best ways to rebuke that demon, which you're supposed to rebuke the demon, a lot of brothers don't don't realize that they have a demon that's just on them when they first come into the truth. And it takes another person that been in the truth longer to tell you because you don't know that you have a demon on you. It takes another person to tell you, okay, hey, brother, slow down, you know. But more importantly, the brother in, in the spirit is supposed to, you're supposed to know that when you first come into the truth, you have to say, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Yahweh by Simi Awasa. Okay? Which leads me to my next scripture. This is James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh by Simi Awasa. Resist the devil. Okay? And this is this resisting the devil comes every day. This is not just some uh you just resist the devil one day. And then it's uh, done and over with. No, you have to continually resist to resist the devil. Okay? And one way of how you resist the devil is Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Yah, but some y'all When that when that demon is in your ear telling you, no, nah, don't do this. No, nah, don't do this. You know, you know that more it, it doesn't sound right. It, it it goes against what the scriptures say. You got to rebuke that demon. And it says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Okay? So, when you first come into the truth, obviously you you repented. You know, you find out that you, you, you did something wrong, you know, which you, you found out that you was an Israelite and, and the ways that you was living, you know, in that Gentile state of mind was, was totally contrary to what the scriptures say so now you're trying to change what you were before into making yourself to be a new man or a new woman and it's going to be many different influences around you that you have to fight whether it's your friends whether it's your family whether it's your your uh personal uh mate okay whether it's your children Okay, these things hinder you from growing in the spirit. Okay, it says, draw not to Yahweh by Simi and he will draw not to you. Okay, so one of the things is, you know, studying. Okay, brothers in Great Millstone throw up so many videos. Okay, and if you're in a, po a position where you uh, have a person that, you know, is in Great Millstone, which... You know, brothers have brothers around, you know, to be able to, to talk, you know. If, you, if you're if you in a position to where a brother uh, is around, then of course you, you can ask the other brother, you know, about, you know, for, for uh, wise counsel. Okay? It says, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Okay, because the thing is, when you come into the truth, you get you have a double-minded spirit, and that's that. Uh, you, the scriptures talk about a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Okay, you got the no, nah, don't do this, don't do that. That's Satan, man. Okay, and then you also got uh, cause the the toughest battle is the battle with yourself. Okay, uh, you have yourself telling you, you know. Uh, to 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 you know, be lazy. Okay, or or you know you always right and you know some people have pride on them and they don't even understand it. You know when you tell somebody that they're proud or they have a lot of pride, they buck up. You know because they don't understand that that demon that's on them is is uh is 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 is. is it's cleaving onto them, onto that spirit, you know, and it's like, when you come into this truth, you know, as the scriptures say, I'm going to get it, um, this is Psalm 141 and 5, let the righteous smite me, so you're going to have a brother, okay, that's going to probably tell you, or most likely tell you, okay, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shah is going to lead you 
to what you what you need to know in order to make yourself a better man of the Lord. Okay? So it says, let the righteous smite me, which that is, I'm going to go into this word, smite. Okay? And it's uh, halam in the Hebrew. Okay? And it says, uh, to smite, strike, hammer, strike down. Okay? This word is a fire. And this word is going to try you. Okay, that that the the is the scripture say, you know, uh, gold that is tried in the fire. Okay, so a man of the Lord is supposed to, to smite you, and I believe uh, it says, uh, and, and it shall be a kindness, and let him reprove me. Okay, We're going to this word reprove. Okay, uh, it's, uh, yaka, yaka, I believe, it says, uh, to prove, decide, judge, rebuke, reprove, correct, to be right. So a brother is supposed to show you, okay, you know, don't, uh, do that, you know, this is what the scriptures say a man of the Lord is supposed to be, you know, and, and it's supposed to come out the scriptures, man. Okay, it says, it shall be an excellent oil. So when a person tells you, hey, not to do this, this is why order is important. You know, not to do this. That oil, which is the knowledge, is going to be. So when another person comes in, you'll be able to expound that, that, that wisdom on what they're not supposed to do. You know, because you, you, you received that wisdom, you know, or that reproval, that correction. It says, which shall not break my head. Because a lot of people in this world, they can't take rebukes, okay? It says, for my prayer also shall be in their calamities, okay? So when you're coming through this truth, you have a demon on you, you, you got to understand that you're going to get uh, rebuked, okay? And, and it's for your correction, it's to, to, you know, pull you up out of the, uh, the fire, okay? Um... I'm going to get this scripture, uh, James 5 and 19. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and want to convert him, let him know that he which converts the sinner from the error of his way so save a soul from death and so hide a multitude of sins. Okay? It's 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run a, which, which run in a race run all. But one receiveth the prize. Which is a question mark. It says, so run that you may obtain. So when you when you first put this put your foot to this race, you're not supposed to give up. This is a race. You have to run into the end. So you have to know what you're getting yourself into. And of course, how are you gonna know what you're, what you're getting yourself into? You know, if you first come into the truth and you don't know that you have to rebuke rebuke uh Satan. You know, a lot of people don't know that they have to rebuke Satan. It's not, it, the, the, that mystery isn't given to a lot of people. Okay, it says, and every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. So, got to have self-control. Because that's what the, the spirit of Yahweh Simeon Shah is trying to give you, self-control. Okay, you don't, of course when you come into the truth, you want to be on straight fire. You know, but if you don't put that fire out or, or, or calm it down a little bit, you could be a wildfire. And, you know, when when it's time to, to take that rebuke, you know, you don't understand that 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 demon, you're just a demon in the truth, man. You know, because you ain't you ain't you can't you ain't want to put put away that that demon that was on you. You didn't fully repent. OK, you came into this truth thinking that you was totally uh correct on everything it says now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown but we an incorruptible okay it says if i therefore so run not as uncertainly because we know where we where you supposed to know where you're going at when you come into this truth where you're where's the finish line okay and we we letting y'all know that hey 
we're at the final checkpoint, man. You know, this is this is the home stretch, man. Okay, it says so fight I, not as one that beats the air. Okay, because here go the thing: when you rebuking a demon, you and you first come into the truth, and you rebuking Satan to the outside person looking at you. They probably be thinking like, "Yo, this guy's crazy. He bugged out his mind." You know, but they don't understand that the labors and you know things that brothers have to do. You know, when when people aren't looking, you know the the labors that we're we're, we're doing. You know the correction that we have to take. You know, among uh, in ourselves. So when for us, it's not we're not beating the air. We're not just swinging all wild and crazy like Cuba Gooding Jr. You know, and boys in the hood. You know, we know what we're swinging at, okay? This is a fight, man, and we're fighting against, uh, you know, these spiritual demons. It says, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Because if you don't know how to how to um, go back and forth with these demons that, you, that you're fighting, that demon can get the best of you, man, and, and just knock you out. It says, lest that by any means, when I have preached to, to others... I myself should be, should be a castaway. And you have a lot of people that are castaways. Okay? Why? Because it's prophecy. It's 1 Timothy 4 and 1. That now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. Okay? And that's them, them, them spirits that are on that person, man. Okay? Them spirits that are, that are out there in this world okay that is set up to 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 uh come against you and and these are people who come into this truth and they don't know how to fight these demons man or you might been you might have been a person that been fighting demons your whole time in the truth but now all of a sudden a a, a, a newer demon a stronger demon just comes and, and just you know takes you out of the way and, and and most often them them stronger demons end up being the most silliest uh demons period man you know you, you sit up there when you see somebody get take overtaken by by a lot of these demons you sit up there and look like how the, how the heck somebody get caught up over that you know that that demon you know but, but that's that's because a lot of people don't have the faith okay a lot of different brothers have different proportions of faith okay with trips with trips one one brother up that might not trip you up you might get tripped up over something else man okay it says and doctors of devils speaking lies and hypocrisy having their conscience seared with a hot iron and when it's time to try to talk to these people about you know hey don't do this and don't do that see their conscience is already seared with a hot iron okay and it's we can't get that demon up off of them you know, because they are, they knew the truth and they, they, they didn't do what they were supposed to. OK, um, this is Jan uh, Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witch witnesses. OK, because when you come into this truth, you have a lot of people, you know, that are, that are going to be looking at you. You have uh, uh, angels that are, that are uh, you know, uh, fighting for you. Okay, it's a lot of people, you know, that that are that are that are looking at you that you you don't even know that that are um that are looking at you to check and see whether you're gonna stay in this truth or, or or fall out. It says, "Let us lay aside every weight." Okay, the weight of of the the world and the weight of this truth. Okay, but you gotta you gotta have that balance, man. It says, "In the sin which does." so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us okay now we know that this truth is a is a race it's a it's a it's a marathon man you can't just come out into this truth you can't even go into a a, a, a marathon and just just do a fallout sprint because you're going to just you're going to fall out man but then you can't be coming into the to the marathon just you know, jogging and acting, you know, jogging slowly, 
because you ain't going to finish. This is something that you have to pace yourself, man. Okay? You have to pace yourself. You have to fight that demon. Okay? You have to grow into this thing. You can't just grow come into this truth and expect to, to, to get it all in one one uh final swoop, man. Okay? When you when you come into this truth, first off, this truth is too deep and too vast to, 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 to just break down to anybody in just one day. Okay? This takes time to, to, to actually be in and grow. That's the difference between when, when you look at the apostles and the elders. They've been fighting for a minute, man. Okay? And they understand it. And they still fighting. This ain't you, you think that that when, when brothers say double honors to the apostles that you know that that they don't uh get uh fight temptation or they haven't fought temptation or that their race is, is, is over. The race isn't over until Yahweh Shah comes back, man. Okay? So this is this is something that you have to take a consideration that you're gonna always, always, always have to continue to fight, okay? It's just that when you first come into it, you don't understand how hard that fight really is compared to somebody that's been fighting this 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 battle for a minute, okay? Uh, James 1 and 12, and this I'm going to end it with this. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, okay? The, temp, the word temptation goes into wanting to do something that is wrong, or something that is unwise, okay? And how do you know what's wise or what's foolish if you don't understand and get that understanding of what of what was wise and what's foolish, okay? For when he tried, for when he has tried, he shall receive the crown of life. You know that that demon telling you, "Hey man, go ahead and smoke that blunt." You got to you got to deny that that demon, you know, to, to get high. You know? That get high demon. Or, or go ahead, go eat them shrimps, man. You know, just get one more shrimp, man. You know, and it, you good, man. You, you you just coming into the truth, man. You know, you good. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta do that, you know. That you gotta deny that. It says, for when he has tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. So your love is supposed to be on y'all by Shimia Osai when you come into this truth. Okay, it says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. I am tempted of Yahweh by Shem outside. The Lord is tempted me. No, that's Satan, man. Satan is the one that's tempted you. It says, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man. Okay, the, the, the truth is the truth. Okay? Satan is trying to get you out of the truth. The Lord is trying to bring you into the truth. Okay? It says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and is enticed. You know, you, you stop smoking, but now all of a sudden, you know, somebody smoking what they call loud or whatever around you. You, you used to be heavy into the loud. Now all of a sudden, that, that, that loud smell or weed smell that's come around you. And now all of a sudden, you want to you wanna go back into it. And, and what? You're, you're enticed. Okay? You're persuaded. Okay, it says then then when lust has con conceived, it bringeth forth sin. Okay, or, or or you know sleeping with another man's woman or whatever the the, the demon that that is on you is is trying to, to to get you to do. Okay, trying to tempt you to do. It says uh, it bringeth forth sin, and sin when it is finished bringeth forth death. Okay, so you have to understand when you first come into the truth, if you don't rebuke that demon and you don't do what you're supposed to do, not rebuking that demon will bring forth death. It will bring forth that sin. Okay, and you're not, you're supposed to be a new man. You're supposed to, uh, as the, the scripture said, and uh, James, I believe it was the third chapter, um... It says, uh, purify your, uh, your heart, okay? It said, uh, purify your, uh, your heart, okay? When you, when you come into this truth, man, okay? And not be, uh, double-minded, okay? 
So with that, you know, hopefully this was a, a edifying lesson. Okay. Um, I'm gonna uh, say uh, Salam till next time.